Welcome back to Chaos Corner. You're in the main event for AEW Revolution. That's right, live to tape, 25 feet below the surface of the earth, here in the bunker at Chaos Corner. It's the 60-minute Iron Man match for the AEW World Heavyweight title. It's MJF as he defends against the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. For whoever gets the most falls in 60 minutes, that's right, 60 minutes in Iron Man match, whoever gets the most falls wins the AEW Heavyweight Championship. Now we know MJF is the devil. I don't like to say that word. And he comes out dressed that way to a symphony orchestra, to violins playing, to smoke and brimstone, all dressed in white, trimmed in gold, wearing that mask and the theme song. That's right, you know his trademark Burberry Scarf theme song. That's what MJF, the defending AEW heavyweight champion, the Triple B, if you will, comes out to in, revol in Revolution at the Chase Center, San Francisco, well, well, Oakland, California. Let, let's not fool anybody, but this is the main event. So I wanted to bring it to you, the fans, in its own separate video. Go back and check out the two previous videos that I just put up. One was the pre-show, Zero Hour for AEW Revolution. The second one was the main card of AEW Revolution, which in my opinion was an 8 out of 10. A solid pay-per-view, perhaps the best of the year. Listen, I get it. We're only in March. Go back and check it out. And now we're reviewing the main event, the 60-minute Iron Man match for the title. MJF and Brian Danielson. Don't go anywhere. Follow me on all social media platforms, and you know what they are in real time, at Big Daddy GOC on Twitter. And the GOC stands for the Guardian of Chaos. On Instagram, it's the Guardian of Chaos. There's two accounts on Facebook, J Brony and Protigio Fidelis El Guardian. On Gitter, Gab, Truth Social, Rumble, I cover it all in the IWC because it's me, the GOC. Let's get back to the match. Uh, hopefully we can get out of here in 20 minutes because the last two were 30 minutes plus. So I hope you stay for the whole kit and caboodle because it's one man, unique, unedited, unscripted, no paywalls, no Patreons, no super chats. What you see is what you get, reality TV, and my experience and connection to this, and, and, and my review, entertainment, baby. Hang around, like, subscribe, come on. So here we go, the defending champion, and then Brian Danielson. Wearing the traditional red, white, and blue colors. Aberdeen, Washington. Weighing in at 197 pounds. And what a crowd reaction for the American Dragon. And not to mention, I said it, I don't think I said it in the uh, opening here of this video. Again, I'm doing this video by itself because it was a 60-minute Iron Man match. And I knew it would be longer for the heavyweight title. From Long Island, New York, 226 pounds MJF, the reigning defending heavyweight champion. So MJF weighing in at 226 pounds, and he was jacked. He was in great shape. And Brian Danielson, also in good shape, but no MJF, at 197 pounds. So let that sink in as your heavyweight championship. It's a different time. It's a different era. Don't get me started. Old school history. Don't get me started here on Guardian of Chaos, the YouTube channel. Don't get me started. So it at this point, and I've been running it through these last couple of videos here on the channel, it's 1040 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, this is last night because here we are on Monday morning, Monday afternoon, doing this here in Chaos Corner, live to tape with... And I'll say that to say this because I tell it like it is. 10.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time last night is when the main event went off for the 60-minute Iron Man match. So I'll try to go through here. I'm not going to give you a total play-by-play. -play. I'll give you what stuck out to me. Uh, uh, okay. 
so that's that that was the beginning and then and the ref was bryce remsburg you know the bald guy with the beard the younger dude bryce remsburg it's a lot to be said for the referees and the bullshit in aew i'm here to give you the good the bad and the ugly that's what you want from me right my over 50 years as a fan uh the smart a mark that that's right i said it my over 30 years, three and a half plus decades of uh, being in the business as a talent, a pro wrestling manager. You, you get it, right? So I'm going to give you my take on it. The main event, 10.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let that sink in. Good mat work to start out. It goes to show you the booking uh, of what happened here in the match. There may not have been long-term booking or lazy booking or hot shot booking, whatever phrases everybody wants to use today. This started off some good mat work. And when Tony Khan, the AEW, puts out a pay-per-view, you can guarantee whether it's a first-timer or a long-termer or a thrown-together or a short-term booking, whatever it is you want to call it, Hot shot, the new phrases, banger. You can guarantee you're going to get solid entertainment on the pay-per-views for AEW. Uh, I, I will say that to say this. You guys know that, right? Solid entertainment. So it started off with some some good mat work going back and forth by both guys. As you can know, they both can wrestle. And this is where MJF underestimates. Uh, uh, a lot of people underestimate his ability. Go back and do your research to the independent days, to MLW, to his work with the dynasty. It's it's all documented. Do, do some research, some due diligence. Don't have the brain of a dehydrated BB. So that's that's how we start here in the main event of the 60-minute Iron Man at Revolution. Uh, and then MJF powders to the crowd. He even address, addresses, not address. I don't want to get into that whole side storyline that I always throw out there. Uh, at that point, he powders MJF, and he addresses Dave Meltzer. Eh, taking away stars, or a four-star, or a one-star, and, and he goes right to the camera there on pay-per-view at Revolution, and MJF addresses Meltzer. So you like how the, the self-awareness and the wherewithal to sit there and go along with what's in current day 2023, and what trends, and social media, and all that. You, you gotta love it, right? Uh, so that's that's how we're starting off the six minute iron match. And again, everybody's using the finger nowadays. And now MJF is the old F U uh, F fingers to the crowd. The old F U. Uh, that's right. University will say. How about F University? That's, I already swore enough. We don't, I don't have to do that to get over. Uh, they exchanged big back body drops between the American Dragon and MJF. Some big back body drops. Again, to start off, the mat work has been solid and been credible. And you're in for, as the kids say, and I'll quote it now, I guess I could use it, a banger. So, so far, so good here. MJF with a beautiful spike DDT. Uh... Brian Danielson, the American Dragon, with a suicide dive into the barricade, basically. You know, the running kicks by Danielson, the running knees. He was laying him in there to MJF. And again, I can't say enough about that spike DDT that MJF delivers. And again, I always worry about Danielson's neck. But the, Danielson could work with anybody. You know the work he could do with MJF and how everybody in the internet and the IWC criticized MJF and you didn't do your homework. The guy could fuck and wrestle what the, don't you get long before this you know that I mean, do your research i don't want to get too crazy here uh the power bomb by mgf that he delivered into Allah like an atomic knee a power bomb into a knee drop that he delivered on daniel said i can feel it in my spine and my colon and my vertebrae right now that mjf delivered on daniel said I'll, I'll give him credit for that and, and you know Brian Danielson and what the work that he's done in AEW that I think, if you've been following along here on the channel and all my coverage for months now, for years, I said this is the best Brian Danielson has been for a long, long time. Uh, back to his yes, yes, yes days. An unbelievable top rope hurricane Rana he pulled off on the defending champion MJF. Uh, another suicide dive. Uh, a lot of use of that tonight, in the, or last night, uh, on the uh, 
Revolution card, a suicide dive again by uh, outside by Brian Danielson. He was all over the ring and pulled out all stops. I mean, he really did. Uh, a sit-out pile driver, I, I, I believe I said that. The first spike DDT by my MJF. I'm going to call this, again, everyone has their own variation and their maneuvers. I'm going to call what I saw in this 60-minute Iron Man match a beautiful sit-out pile driver by MJF on Danielson, too. There were several pinfalls that went back and forth and back and forth, and they must have counted 50 times. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, one. And they went back and forth and round and round. We go, do si do ring around. Around the rosy pocket full of pony ashes, we all fall down. Wow. And at this point, it's 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's right, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at this point in Revolution. They're 20 minutes in. That's it. There's 40 minutes left, and we're only 10 minutes in here on Chaos Corner. There's 40 minutes left in this match. So that's what happened there up until the, the part of where I'll separate it for now. All the different pinfalls and near pinfalls and false finishes and roll arounds by uh, MJF from Brian Danielson. It really was something because then out of nowhere at 20 minutes in, 21 minutes in, 22 minutes in, 25 minutes in that area, the next several minutes now remind you up to here at 20 minutes in, there's no pinfalls. There's no pinfalls yet. And then bang, in less than 10 minutes, you have four pinfalls. That's right. I said it. Four pinfalls. That's right. Two falls out of nowhere at 11.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, about 25 minutes into this 60-minute Ironman, Ironman match. Danielson hits a flying knee on MJF and pins him, and then there's, within mere seconds, a disqualification. Remsburg disqualifies MJF. I don't even know why. And it's two pinfalls to none out of nowhere at about the 25-minute, 28-minute mark. Brian Danielson is up two falls to none at this point out of nowhere. So I, I, I was stunned by this. I was a little confused. Uh, I'll, I'll admit it at this point, but then as quick as that happened, the third and fourth fall came just as quick within a minute or two. MJF pins Danielson twice in a roll-up small package, fruit roll-up, sunset flip, whatever it is you want to call it. Twice. Twice. And now it's two pinfalls to two pinfalls and like I don't know, at the 25 minute mark, the 28 minute mark, somewhere at, at, at that point, it's now two to two in a 60 minute Iron Man match. That's why I could break it up to where before you know it, it's 10 after 11 Eastern Standard Time and they're 30 minutes in, 30 minutes in. We're 13 minutes in right now, 13 minutes and 30 seconds. And here at the Iron Man match between MJF and Danielson, they're 30 minutes in. And it's two pinfalls apiece, two, two. Where else do you get that in Chaos Corner? Covering Revolution and hearing, you know. So, I mean, at this point, I really was beside myself. You feel the emotion, you feel the passion. Uh, 30 minutes in, it's 11, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, last night on Revolution, MJF and Danielson for the heavyweight title. <coughs> Excuse me. You're here live to tape on Chaos Corner, here in the bunker, if you will, with, with your old buddy, the Guardian of Chaos. So then they slap it on some leg locks. They each slap on a different leg lock. They're on the ring apron. They're exchanging kicks. Again, remember, this is 30 minutes in, and Danielson, out of nowhere, crashes to the apron floor. Danielson takes a Brody, a la Bugs Bunny back in the day. Well, he took a Brody. Danielson, off the apron. Again, slaps, kicks, uh, uh, hanging out in the ring apron. So that's where we are in the 60-minute Iron Man match. It went by so fast, that 10-minute stretch there. I didn't know whether I was coming or going. 
So uh, let's move on here on Revolution. The main event, Danielson and MJF, the 60-minute Iron Man match, were two falls apiece. We're over 30 minutes in. We're outside the ring at this point. MJF is looking for and grabs a table. That's right. MJF, 30 minutes in, two falls apiece. MJF, the defending champion, grabs a table out of nowhere and then delivers a la the macho man Randy Savage a top rope elbow drop, a top rope elbow drop off the top turnbuckle through the fucking table. That's right. MJF through the fucking table. Want me to do it on this side? Want me to give you a different location? Do you want me to give you a different camera angle? It's 11.16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They're about approximately 36 minutes in. You see the due diligence and the detail you get here at Chaos Corner. Two falls apiece. MJF with a fucking top rope elbow drop through the table on the American Dragon. That's what's going on there. And then, and then, not that that's not enough, MJF uncovers the table, picks up Danielson again, 40 minutes in at this point, thereabouts, 36 minutes, 40 minutes on his 60-minute Iron Man match, MJF after elbowing drop and el uh, through the top row, you know, through the top to off the top turnbuckle through the table, he picks up Danielson and gives him a pile driver through the remaining part of the table. You heard me correct. MJF picks up Danielson, runs through and delivers a pile driver through the table, and then that's that. That's it. Danielson, at that point, is torn open, busted open, bleeding like a crimson mask, blood beyond belief. It really was. Listen, he was leaking. That's that's the bottom line. At that point, he was leaking, pile driving, pile driven through the table by MJF outside the ring. At this point, it's approximately, let me guesstimate, let me estimate, 11.19, 11.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They're about 40 minutes in, somewhere thereabouts, okay? And then MJF pile driver gets, gets Danielson back in the ring and all throughout the match before I even go there, before I even go there. Again, uh, top uh, turnbuckle elbow drop through the table, MJF on Danielson. Pile driver through the table, MJF on Danielson. Danielson's a bloody mess at this point. They're 40 minutes into the 60 minute Iron Man match. They're two falls apiece. MJF finally gets Danielson back in the ring. It's uh, around 1120 somewhere, 40 minutes in. Throughout the whole match, MJF has been hydrating himself. A little bit of a la the water boy, Adam Sandler, a little. Water boy, a little a little H2O. He keeps grabbing bottles of water. And, and this is a perfect timing. MJF throughout the match is grabbing his favorite beverage, and it's it was water. It was proven. I saw it. I saw it live. And now you have it here live to tape in my review of Revolution, the main event 60-minute Iron Man match. MJF kept hydrating himself, and Taz, the announcer, the infamous Taz, ECW, FTW, um, you get it, right? A WWE legend, Hall of Famer, kept saying, you better be careful with all that water. And then MJF, you know, he's an athlete, a high school, college star, stud, right? World champion, hydrating himself throughout the whole match. That was the theme of MJF, pouring water and hydrating himself throughout the match. So in honor of MJF right there. I wanted to make sure that I, 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 I hydrated. He screams uh, to Danielson at this point, you fucking suck. And again, I don't want to have to curse. I know I've been cursing a lot lately in these recent podcasts here from the bunker. From the bunker. MJF screams to Danielson. You can clearly hear it throughout the arena and throughout the pay-per-view on all social media platforms. You fucking suck. He screams at a bloody Danielson. You know, playing to the camera, man. MJF playing to the camera. MJF 
out of nowhere, a pile driver in the ring, sort of swinging off the ropes, kind of like a shotgun seated, shotgun seated pile driver, uh, pins Brian Danielson, and now it's three falls to two, three to two, MJF in the 60 minute Iron Man match. This is at about, again, I'm saying around the 40 minutes, 40, 41 minutes. 20 after the hour, it's three falls to two now on that swinging sit-out pile dryer. MJF, the defending champion, is up three to two right now, and that's when he screams, you fucking suck. I guess we're going for rated R. Are we going for rated R? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? McFly? Anyone? Anyone home? Oh, I, I think somebody is. Uh, playing to the camera, uh, camera again, as, as I said. So MJF gets posted out of nowhere by a bloodied Daniel, by a bloody American dragon, Daniel. So now when you know when I say posted, whether it was your shoulder, your groin, your cojones, your nuts, your face, you get posted into the ring post of the ring. You guys get that, right? And then out of nowhere with a... a a flying knee off the ring apron by the American Dragon. He comes back now and rises up out of nowhere. A bloody now busted open Danielson with a flying knee off the ring apron onto MJF. A top turnbuckle axe handle outside of the ring on top of MJF by the American Dragon. A superplex by Danielson on the top rope. They worked their way up to the top rope and Danielson with a superplex off the top rope. Now these are all in succession, one after another after another, as Danielson is trying to build himself back up here in the Iron Man match after being down 3-2 to two. and let's face it, MJF had taken him to school by whipping his ass and breaking him open. Okay, so this is Danielson coming back after the superplex and then a flying top rope headbutt. I don't know. I don't know. Danielson was so dangerous with the headbutt. And then you have MJF out of nowhere gushing. I don't know if he hit a artery or a vein, but MJF was bleeding like not one stuck pig, not two, but three of his ex-former, you know, uh, pinning shoulders to the mats and banging rats. Uh, three stuck pigs or rats at MJF. That's how much blood was pouring out. You thought Mox uh, and 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 uh, Hangman Page were bloodied in that match tonight in the Texas Death Match. MJF was as bloodied, if not bloodier, at that point by the headbutt by Danielson so now both men are broken open again the blood is just pouring out of Max uh, at that point uh, um, and now I'm trying to think so now he's busted open out of nowhere MJF ends up now this is where we come into play after that after that headbutt to where MJF is, is busted open out of nowhere. Danielson finds the strength, the balls, the cojones, the testicular fortitude to put the label lock. That's right. He gets the label lock, as he's known for. Gino Ju, Judo Jean Labelle. He gets the label lock on MJF, and MJF taps to Danielson. So now we are, that's right, trace, trace, trace. Place three three in a sixty minute Iron Man match. That's how many falls a piece, and he taps to the label lock. Now they're fifty minutes in here. Fifty minutes in here. It's if you go by calculations, approximately these are approximately eleven thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time at, at this point. Both men a gory mess, and again the camera angles and the production isn't the boys in the back on always the best. Whether it's a holding the, the ladder for powerhouse Hobbs on dynamite and all the different excuses and rumors and botches, I get it because I respect everyone. You got to do what you got to do, man. I'm not judging, uh, but at this point it actually looks like they're face to face with the blood pouring and they're laughing they're smiling to each other in the ring there mjf and danielson anyone catch that anyone anyone bueller leave a comment bueller anyone catch that i'm I just something i thought it's about 11 35 p.m uh they're both in the middle of the ring on their knees they're bleeding see if you catch that a uh, danielson out of nowhere after this a top rope elbow 
uh, that was I, into MJF. That was it was like a top rope elbow, and he turned it into a pile driver at that point. Remember now, it's three three in the sixty minute uh, Iron Man match. There's fifty minutes in. There's ten minutes left. We're twenty five minutes in here on this segment in Chaos Corner. Check out the other segments again. This was a legendary, like they used to say back in the day on ESPN Classic, an instant classic here on Chaos Corner at AEW Revolution last night. Uh, let, let's get on to bigger and better things. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything here because you do have to. Listen, I didn't sit there and take notes, notes and enjoy it and get my reputation for not having my due diligence. So that's where we are there. Let's go, let's, let's go on. At this point, wait, wait, hold on. We're 50 minutes in at, at, at this point. MJF with the top rope on the, on the Daniels with the top rope elbow into MJF with the pile driver. Beautiful. At at this point, ten minutes. I don't know where it happened here on my notes, but at this point, we end up getting into sixty minutes. Both men are out. They're on their feet. I had it down here on my notes. We get to the point. I'll tell you myself. I don't need notes for this point. Uh, the last seven, eight minutes reversals going back and forth here with half leg crabs going back and forth. Different things. Both guys busted open. Again, remember, it's a three and three here on the 60-minute Iron Man match. Coming out of both devastating maneuvers, MJF had whooped Danielson's ass. Danielson had finally risen back. Back, coming back to try to get himself to sell, sell up and win this bout. And we get down to the exchanges the, the last three or four minutes and two minutes. They had red, red two minutes numbers on the clock. The countdown there. Neither guy, MJF, was trying to get the, the LaBelle lock on Danielson. Danielson reversed it. They're both near the ropes, dragging each other out to the center of the ring. And the bell rings as they're both trying to do reverse LaBelle locks and sink in what does Max call his arm bar? The salt of the earth arm bar. They're both going back and forth. The 60-minute time limit, it's up. They call it a draw. A lot of people thought it was over there for a split second. I thought, will they end it this way in the draw? Would it make sense? They 60 minute Iron Man, three minute match, a chance for a rematch at the next pay per view or, or on a next big show. It doesn't have to be this Wednesday Dynamite. I said, will they leave it there? for a split second out of nowhere? Out of nowhere. We always know this comes into play. The whole community saw it. All the smarks, all the check marks, all the podcasters, everybody in the IWC. One more fall, sudden death between MJF and Danielson. Shivani was told by uh, Tony Shivani was told by Tony, 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 Tony has done it again. TK, it feels good. Sudden death. The next fall wins and you win and retain or lose or gain the victory, the title at AEW Revolution. So I thought that was a nice, interesting twist out of nowhere. A look, because then TK it doesn't want to end this in a draw. A lot of people, I saw live reactions that were sucked into this. They really were. So out of nowhere, a low blow by MJF. He pulls out the dynamite diamond rain, MJF. You know it always comes into play. And he misses. And a flying knee by the American dragon out of nowhere. Only a two count. That's right. A two, the Zebras of Justice would say. A lot of people thought that was it right there for the heavyweight title. Half crab by Danielson. A lot of traditional map moves used there by today's pro, current golden era using today, keeping it in perspective. You can't get to where you got to go or even where you are unless you understand where you've been. Using maneuvers like half crabs as Danielson used one on MJF, I will say, I like the way it was applied. Uh, you know, it's no Chris Jericho, Walls of Jericho, which I think I mentioned earlier. And then, out of nowhere, MJF applies the LaBelle lock. He applies the LaBelle lock. MJF had fallen out of the ring because I don't think I mentioned it earlier, at the end of the 60-minute mark, get it, Mark? 
they came in and MJF needed uh, oxygen and they applied oxygen in this little tank and it was out of nowhere, out of this, but happened to be on the side of the ring. And when he that was laying out there by the side of the ring after that flying knee and, and two count and, and he powdered, Danielson came over there, uh, Aubrey, whoever w was distracted, not Aubrey, who was the ref? I forget who the ref was, was distracted and MJF out of nowhere. You knew it had to be win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Use the oxygen take to the cranium, the dome piece, if you will, of Danielson. That's right. And that he whacked Danielson with the dome piece. He went back into the ring with the oxygen tank, applied the label lock to a bloody Danielson, and Danielson tapped. And MJF wins four to three and retains the title against the American Dragon. The, you, you got to get the whole details. You have to refer back the oxygen tank. The damn oxygen tank to the dome piece. MJF when he took the powder. Because after the draw, which we had sudden death, the oxygen tank is out of the way. <laughs> you can't make it up. I believe it ended at around 11.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It might have went 68 minutes, give or take. I'll, again, the flying knee by Danielson, the two count, the half crab by Danielson. MJF rolls out of the ring, grabs the oxygen tank. <laughs> the label lock. Where do we go from here? Where does Dragon go? You knew MJF. He's not losing it any time in 2023, in my opinion. Good luck with the faces in AEW. Fantastic match. Great card. Like I said, 8 out of 10. A hard 8 as opposed to a soft 7. <laughs> Thanks for being here. It's been a lot of fun to be back here in the bunker. Bringing you AEW Rev Revolution from Chaos Corner. Just want to say cheers. Thanks. 60-minute Iron Man match. I had to give it its... Its own segment, its own podcast, its own show, if you will. It's its own review here on Chaos Corner. We're a little over half an hour in. I hope you stayed for the whole thing. And go back and check out the prior episodes here on the YouTube channel. It's a good time. It's free quality entertainment. You don't have to pay for anything. Who else can make it relatable and have a good time with something like this? It's called love, passion, hustle, grind. Keeping it real, holding it down, maintaining. What a match, MJF and Danielson. Four falls to three in the 60-minute Iron Man, Iron Man match. Hey, listen, oxygen tank or not, MJF retains. Where it goes from here, who's next in line? Let's see what happens on Dynamite. Who, who knows? What comes up after this is, is uh, double or nothing, right, in May? The end of May, double or nothing for AEW. Overall, 8 out of 10. Thanks for being here. We're going to be hanging around and doing definitely WWE WrestleMania. Not sure about the Dynamite reviews. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Spread the word. Come on back to Chaos Corner. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'll say that to say this. Because I tell it like it is. Don't you dare miss it.